What is good, people? It is almost 2024. We have less than 30 days left in the rest of what they call this year. All right. And I know a lot of people like to do New Year's resolutions. I personally do not like New Year's resolutions. Like, I'm more of a get it in gear before the new year so that I'm already going into the new year with whatever the new habit is that I want. And the key is not to overwhelm yourself and try to do 10 things at once, all right? You just need to pick two things, three max, and just go for it, all right? Start today. By the time the new year rolls around, you still have enough days to have created a new habit or started to break a old. But today we're gonna talk about mindset because mindset is our lens to the world. It's how we see stuff. It's how we process things throughout the day. Having a positive mindset can turn challenges into opportunities instead of a setback. Or you can view the setback as a lesson because at the end of the day, everything that we know how to do we learn by failing. I know you heard that before. Just like when you learn how to walk, right? You probably fail an unimaginable amount of times, but you still got up and you kept going. Probably because you was like, everybody else walking around, I'm going to walk too. So that's kind of how we have to um, grow our mindset. Like it's, it's so human to like go to the negative, the negative self-talk, you know, blaming yourself for stuff, talking down to yourself. And you may not even realize you do that, but we do that a lot as humans. And so when we work on having a growth mindset, because you can have a, a bunch of different types of mindsets, but if we work on having a growth mindset, it opens up a lot of doors. Because think about it, when you're mad about something, if you just focused on the fact that you were mad, you may not be able to quickly figure out a solution, have a quick reaction, you're just focused on being upset. Your mindset shapes how you approach everything. Even if it's something simple like, oh, I'm late for work. If you keep focusing on the fact that you're late, nine times out of 10, you're gonna notice everything that's causing a delay, okay? So what I like to do in that situation, because I am late a lot, what I like to do is focus on the fact that I can only do what I can do in this moment. I can't turn my car into a flying car and get there faster. So I kind of have to look at it as, okay, there's nothing I can do about this but go, right? And if I'm already going, now I can focus on, okay, how do I feel today? Even though I'm late, I don't have anything to do with that because there's nothing I can physically do about it if I'm already en route, right? So I choose to focus on listening to an audio book. Something positive that's gonna make me not focus on the fact that I'm late and a lot of times being late, you put more of a pressure on yourself than the people who you're going to meet, whether it be at work, whether it be a private, you know, uh, event. I know I beat myself up way more than the people that I'm going to go connect with. And by the time I usually get wherever I'm going, everybody's just like, oh, great, she's here. And they probably knew I was going to be late anyway, right? So why, why would I focus on that the whole way there and mess up my attitude? And... It's not something that you do once. It's something that you have to make a daily practice of because your mind is always going and it's gonna have responses to certain things. And sometimes you have to really sit and think about what you're thinking and what you're telling yourself and what you're actually believing. So this month I'm doing a little bit of something kind of like Vlogmas, sorta. Of. And I say sorta of because I won't be doing daily uploads, but I definitely will have a few uploads per week. And we're gonna focus on journaling. Journaling is one of the ways that I work on my mindset daily. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to use journal prompts, right? Journal prompts are questions that make you think and you answer the question to yourself on paper, honestly. And then you can go back over what kind of thoughts you were having, see if it actually makes sense when you read it back to yourself, question what you're actually saying, and if it's true. I can't tell you how many times that I've written out my feelings, um, inside of one of my journals based on some journal journal prompts and have gotten so much clarity. It's not that you just can't ask yourself these questions, but it's the process of the, the thoughts being put on paper and being captured so you don't have to remember them as you're making sense of it, they're on the paper. But if you're not into journaling, that's okay too. But this video is for people who would be open to journaling because what we're gonna do this whole month is every video that I bring you, I'm going to end the video with one journal prompt that I want you to write down. We're gonna get inside of my 31 day mindset reset journal, okay? I'm gonna give you one journal prompt that you can write in your own journal 
and answer yourself honestly and see where it goes. See if you get clarity. See if you understand something a little better than before when you started. Your mindset is your superpower. Embrace challenges. Learn from your setbacks and foster a positive perspective because when you look at it like that, life is filled with opportunities for growth. So anyway, stay tuned because the journal prompt is coming up next.